Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alert. Today we're talking about the 2013 film, The Wolverine. The X-Men films have two timelines. Check out the link in the description to have a more clear picture of where this film falls in the storyline. Also note that this film has a very similar title to the 2009 film, X-Men Origins Wolverine. And there's also another film called Logan, coming out in 2017, all of which are focused on the mutant Wolverine. The summary relies in part that you have seen the previous films. If you'd like to see a summary, check out the link below, as well as the summaries for the other Marvel films. The film opens in 1945, where Wolverine slash Logan is being held in a Japanese POW camp. An atomic bomb is dropped, and Logan saves a Japanese officer named Ichiro Yoshida. The film transfers to present day, showing Logan being tormented by hallucinations of Jean Grey, who died in the third X-Men film. Logan is tracked down by Yukio, a mutant that can foresee people's death, and who works for Yoshiba, the officer that Logan saved. Yoshiba is dying from cancer, and wants to meet with Logan to repay Logan for saving his life. Yoshida wants to transfer Logan's self-healing powers to himself to get rid of the cancer that Yoshida has, which will in turn end Logan's immortality, which Logan views as a burden. Logan refuses the offer, however, and while sleeping, Yoshida's physician, Dr. Green, who is also known as the mutant Viper, introduces something into Logan's body. The next morning, Logan is told that Yoshida has died. At his funeral, Yakuza members attempt to kidnap Yoshida's granddaughter, Mariko, but Mariko and Logan escape. While on the run, Logan and Mariko start to fall in love, but Mariko is captured. Logan finds out that Mariko's fiancé is behind the kidnapping, and that he has conspired with Mariko's father to have her killed because Mariko is the heir to the Yoshida company, not Mariko's father. Logan discovers that a robot was placed inside his body and is suppressing his ability to heal. He cuts into himself and removes the robot, but momentarily dies. Mariko's father attacks, but Logan recovers and kills Mariko's father. Logan tries to locate Mariko, but is eventually captured by a group of ninjas. Logan is placed into a machine created by Dr. Green, who reveals that she plans to take Logan's powers and put them inside of a massive exoskeleton called the Silver Samurai, which has a sword made of adamantium, the same metal that is in Logan's claws. Yukio arrives and kills Dr. Green, and Logan battles the Silver Samurai. Logan's claws are broken, and the Silver Samurai begins to steal Logan's healing factor. It is then revealed that the Silver Samurai is actually Yoshida, who did not actually die from cancer, and is now trying to steal Logan's powers to become the ultimate warrior. Mariko stabs her grandfather Yoshida using one of Logan's severed adamantium claws, and Logan is able to recover, regrow his bone claws, and kills Yoshida, ending the fight. Later on, Mariko becomes CEO of the Yoshida Industries and says goodbye to Logan. In the mid credit scene, we see Logan is back in the United States talking with Magneto in an airport to discuss a dangerous threat that has returned, hinting at the next film, X-Men Days of Future Past. Logan also finds out that Xavier is still alive, who Logan watched die in the third film. So that was the spoilers for X-Men Days of Future Past. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on our various forms of social media listed below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.